What I'm going to talk about today is palliative care. This will involve birth, life, dying, and death. It is difficult to talk about. It is something that you do not talk about among the Navajo people or within the Navajo traditional concept. But it is important to know for our doctors, nurses, and hospital personnel, those who do not understand the traditional ways of the Navajo people. Perhaps maybe if we talk about this, perhaps maybe if we enlighten them, they will be, uh, they will be able to understand the Navajo traditional concept of life cycle. This includes the birth to the end of life. I am here to give some enlightenment and one perspective on our Navajo culture in hopes that it may help you see better and help you all be a better health care provider. This is not the best thing to talk about. It's something that is forbidden among the Navajo people. Nobody really wants to talk about this issue, but it's got to be done. So cremation was a no-no. Our old elderly people, or our medicine people, did say that if we destroy our body in a way, it will haunt us. It will bring disadvantage to our family, to our property, to our belongings, to our mind. If we are selfish with this, it will make us ill, it will destroy us. Death will come upon us, not only for us as an individual, but for our family, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren on down the line. So we should never, well at least they said we should never burn a body or destroy a body in a way where it's against the work of a spirit. That was the belief at one time among the Navajo people. But now it seems like there's more and more people doing cremation with their loved ones. Another story is that the spirit being got together and wanted to know how the sun will travel to give light throughout the world. So the spirit being got together and they talk about this issue. They asked many man folks among the participants, but all said no. I do not know how, we do not know how, the sun will work and so forth. So finally, there was one old man, he was speaking husky. They asked him, the old man said, yes, okay, I'll work the sun, but you will not meet my fee. I'm expensive, it's expensive, and you will not agree. Everyone said, what's your fee? We will meet your demands because there's really no one to ask. The old man said, my fee is five-fingered person and other living soul. I will take one per day for the work done. Death will occur, so birth will come forth to maintain harmony for Mother Earth, he said. Everyone agreed, and that's why death comes during the day, it's been told. The same story holds true for Moon. Finally, an old woman was asked that if she could take, take care of the moon. She said, okay, I will. But again, she said, I'm expensive. My fee 
he will not agree with my fee. Everybody said, okay, what is your fee? We'll meet your demands. Again, she said, five finger B, an all living soul. I'll work for this throughout the night. Everyone agreed, and that's why death comes during nighttime. She said, birth will come to maintain harmony for Mother Earth. That's why moon cycle was given to women folks today to bring birth into the family and to society. And death comes at night. When the spirit being emerged into the fourth world through the evolution stories, everyone came upon the earth except one old lady. Everyone missed her and started looking for her. They found her still sitting in the ground, brushing her hair. So people asked her to come up and join them on earth. And she says, no, my children, someone has to stay behind and maintain the spirit home. I'll stay here and wait for you. Eventually, all of you will come back to me. With this in mind, this is the reason why people are buried into the ground and the body turns back into dirt. A lot of people didn't know what she was talking about or what she meant that she would wait. And eventually, all of you will come back to me, she said and she was representing death and that's what she was talking about, burial and today people are buried into the ground you also talk about near death and what is after death it could be life after death people will better understand stories behind it or what lies ahead Navajo tradition, we do not talk about the end of life or death when someone is sick or near death. Family will not allow it, while everyone has hope for the dying person. Why should someone sit there and talk about the end of life or death? But on the other hand, if the family of a dying individual has no hope or the dying person, him or herself, wants to have certain plans understood before they leave this world. Yes, it's up for discussion. People can talk about it, but with a very sensitive approach. You have to respect the ill person you do not say death or die out of the blue. You're going to have to use and find words that will comfort the ill person. Words that are soft and try to distance yourself from direct approach. Use words like pass, passing, or their time. Time is up or after, or when things are back to normal, and so forth. Make sure the dying person is comfortable with the discussion. Try and approach it the way he or she would like to hear, not the way you want to hear or talk about. Perhaps maybe the ill person is still in a position to make a decision or talk about issues that will make him or her comfortable. Try and keep it at that level. We all know our time will come at some point and our time is known by the spirit being. Navajo belief, some people think and say death will not come upon them at all. 
but we know every living thing dies. Plant, livestock, insects, human, all walks of life. In order to have life and to live, it's been said that you pay with death. That's just the fact of life, according to the Navajo stories. And there's another story about a coyote. While the spirit being was meeting, coyote came about and wanted to know what everybody was talking about, and what they were doing. So he was told that uh, we decided to have death among the living being. And Coyote disagreed with that. And he says, why are you talking about this? And death is in my backyard. I'm supposed to be the person to determine if there's going to be death or not. Everybody said, no, you don't belong here. You're evil, go away, go somewhere. We can't talk with you. You can't determine what is so important to the living soul. And he demand, he says, okay, I will determine. He said, I will throw the small stone into the lake. If the stone floats back up, there will be no death. If the stone does not come back up, there will be death. He threw the stone into the water. It did not emerge. It did not come back up. Coyote said, I will be the master of death and I will know when it will happen. Today, we feel that Coyote does have stories like this and he knows the unknown.